Hi guys, I'm Holly from Vitmill, and today we're reviewing the Stars Romeo kit. Pod system, really awesome at times, not so good at other aspects. This little beast was sent to me by EC Click in the purposes of our review. Cheers guys. If you look down below you'll also find a link to their website as well as a link to my written review which goes in a lot more detail. Hi guys, not the usual setup, but I'm at home. My disposal pods have just run out and I'm really dying to try this. I've got my Snowwolf, but I'm not that much of a fan, so I'm going to unbox this right now. So, take off a protective wrapper. Boom. Slide it out. How to replace coil. Some of you always need to know, I suppose. Here's the system. Feels a bit like a walkie-talkie. Hello. Put down for a second. We've got the spare coil there. Get a full mount. We've got lanyard. Lanyards are very popular these days in regards to uh, systems. We've got a protection ring of some sort. I don't know. I have to look at what that is. Oh, that's, I just clicked on that's for the lanyard to hold on to while it's around the device. So it is a vape band in essence. Then you've got your user manual. Like I say, your lanyard, your charger, which is USB normal, micro. Quite shameful, really. It does really annoy me that. And that's it, guys. So I'm going to go and enjoy, because that's what I do. Just in case you want to look at the spare coil. They are very similar to the Nord coils. It'd be interesting to see if they are compatible. But I don't think the right looks a little bit different. Well done. Cheers guys. So, it's 105 by 46 by 20 millimeters. Weighing in at 114 grams. E liquid capacity of 2 millilitres. A whopping 1,200 milliamp hour battery. Shamefully charged by micro USB at 1 amp. The shameful bit is it's not USB C. Variable wattage between 3 volts and 3.5 volts. Strangely, stars have resistance compatibility with this thing is 0.6. I'm sure that's not perfectly right, especially since it comes with 1.4 coil. So we're going to say 0.6 upwards. It's made of zinc alloy. It's got top fill and adjustable airflow. It's got a really strong magnetic connection. LED indicator, pass through charging, short circuit protection, 8 second timeout protection, and low voltage protection. Let's get on with the review. So one of the first thing I noticed about the Stars Romeo is it's got a lot of features missing. It doesn't notice when there's not an at atomizer attached, that's quite poor. And it's also incapable of telling you the battery level, it tells you when it's about to die or dead. But it doesn't tell you anything more than that, so you can't check if you've got 30% or 60% or 100%. I think it's built quite well. Like I said, I love the magnetic connection. The LED indicator is quite bright. Something that is interesting about this little beast is the battery life. Now it's got 1200 milliamp hour battery and it charges at 1 amp. So therefore it's going to take you an hour and a half to 2 hours. For my experience, it's about an hour and 40. But, this little beast with the two cars that it comes with, you can provide anything from 8 watts up to a whopping 20 watts. Which means, depending on your coil and your power setting, you're going to get anything from 8 hours to possibly even 2 days. So battery life's got a good point there. And the adjustable airflow is quite decent. It has also got two small holes here. They are quite good because that means you can cut your airflow fully off and have a proper mouth to long vaping experience. Now, as you at the beginning of the video, it does provide quite a lot of vapour, but, but it doesn't provide any flavour at all. I've, if you leave it down for 10 minutes, it provides a bit of flavour. Both calls provided, the 0.6 mesh and the 1.4 regular, neither provided me with pretty much any flavour. Like I say, if you leave it for 5 minutes, 
so between vaping, 5, 10, 15 minutes. Then it does get a bit of flavour, but that's not really acceptable. A pod system, you expect to give at least a moderate, constant flavour. But it done. Sorry guys. I don't think there's much more to say about this little beast. A very quick review, sorry. Obviously it looks like a walkie-talkie. Interesting. I want one more thing I would like to say as well, the button. Now the button to use it is in a quite strange place. It's pretty much as high in the mod as it can be. But that's how you use it with your thumb. That's how you use it with your finger. And for it to be set in hand like a lot of pods usually are, you have to use your index finger or the palm of your hand. A little bit of design fault there in my eyes, but I do like the design, usually. The top feels really easy, and if you're changing the coils, if you hold the pod like that, you pretty much don't get any liquid leakage, because you can just pop the coil out, put the new coil in, and then let the liquid meet it. So there you go guys. So the winner of last week's snow review is Marissa McCarthy. Congratulations. I think we're already in contact about a previous win. Uh, hit me up, I'll mes message you as well. To give me a chance of winning the brand new Stars Romeo, just to clarify, it's this one, it's not a brand new one. But we are brand new to the market. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe, comment below, make sure you read the terms and conditions in the description, because that states things like you'll have to pay postage, blah de blah. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to thumbs up, ring the bell, all that malarkey. Sorry it was such a quick review, just to clarify, I think it was a great pod system. The major downside of it is some lack of features and they ain't that much flavour either. Thanks guys and don't forget, stay cloudy!